Namaste everyone. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to find your true purpose and live your true purpose in this lifetime. It's very important to tap into that, to be, to have a fulfilling life. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about spreading positivity and empowering everyone to live their life to their fullest. We have the capability. We are all divine beings. We have the capability to create our life the way we want it. So let's tap into our purpose, our life purpose, and live it in a meaningful way. Let's dive in. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you how to find your true purpose. A lot of times we have goals in life. We have, we set goals like, okay, I want to achieve this by this age. Um, and, or, or I, I even, I don't even like to use age because I feel like, um, you can achieve anything at any age, um, technically, but that normally that's how we are cultured to, um, assign ourselves our goals, right? So it's like, okay, I want to finish my, I want to get my um, degree by this age. I want to um, get a job by this age. And then I want to get married. I want to have children. Like we all have um, a set of goals for ourselves, but is your goal aligning with your purpose? Okay. You have to really dig deep into this because we often create so many goals for us. And sometimes we don't even know if that's aligning with our purpose. So goal is where goal is a point where you want to reach. Okay. And a purpose is basically the reason for where you want to reach. So sometimes we don't even know why we're doing it. We just do it because it's the norm. It's a societal norm or, or it's just the way, um, our parents, our belief system are that we kind of just accustom ourselves to believe that. Um, but you, for you to find your true purpose, you kind of need to tap into why you're doing this. Ask all the questions why you're doing it. Recently, I watched a video of Master Sri Akashana and he mentioned we set our goals based on what we know. But what we don't know is a lot more than what we know. So sometimes our goals are probably not even serving us because we are not tapping into our purpose and we don't know what we don't know. And then there are things that we know that we don't know, but then there are a lot more things that we don't even know the amount of things that we don't know. So that's big. Okay. That because it's not even in our conscious mind, like for us to tap into that information, um, to manifest everything, it's, it's a, it's a lot of work and we need to put your attention and intention into that. So for you to actually tune into your purpose you need to ask yourself all the why questions of what you're doing but more than that we have as a soul we always need to evolve i feel like our ultimate goal or our ultimate purpose our eternal purpose as jay shetty calls it dharma based on Bhagavad gita is basically to evolve i feel it's like our soul is always evolving and therefore we need to evolve for us to find our true meaning in this life if you're stagnant, if you look at nature, it's not stagnant. It's always moving. Therefore, we need to also keep moving, keep evolving, keep learning, keep growing for us to truly live our life to the fullest. So for you to find your true purpose, basically you need to tap into your passion. Okay. That's where our purpose is. So how do you find your passion? So I recently read Jay Shetty's um, Think Like a Monk book. I haven't finished it yet, but it's an amazing book if you haven't read it. And he mentions three things that makes up our purpose. First one is passion. How do we know we have passion towards something or how do we create passion? Basically, you need to tap into curiosity. How, how does a baby learn? How does a baby learn to crawl? How does a baby learn to walk? It's out of curiosity. They, they see, they observe, they get curious and they try to do it. And that's how, that's how you create passion. So first you start off with curiosity, then create curiosity turns into interest. Not all curiosity will turn into interest. As you probably would know, you have tried something and you know, it's not for you, you leave it, but you try things and you feel more interested then you learn more and you grow more into it. So that's interest. Curiosity turns into interest. And then once you're interested in something that turns into passion because you're very passionate about it you you want to really go in depth with it and you know the best way i find um when you know you're passionate about something and this is from a personal experience when you you know anything you uh, pick up on doing it could be photography or it could be um 
um, making cakes, like um, I love um, baking. So making cakes or something, anything you do, there's always that one thing that you wouldn't like in it, okay? But like, let's say, let's say if it's making cake, like I hate um, trying to, especially if I'm using icing, I hate trying to wash the, um, the utensils after that because the icing is so buttery and it's so hard to wash that out. So that's the, neg the, the part that I don't like about baking, but I like the rest of it, but I'm, I'm so in love with the rest of it that that one part is okay for me because you can't like everything about everything, right? So that's how you find your passion when you, even though you don't like one thing out of it, but you can put up with it because everything else is perfect for you. It's aligning with you. Then, then that you're very passionate about it and you can move towards it. That's how, from my personal experience, I find it. So find your passion. The next thing Jay Shetty talks about is um, compassion. And this is very important because the minute you turn your passion into serving others, that turns into purpose. So otherwise you're just passionate about it and it stays with you and nothing is happening. There's no impact. But when you serve others using your passion, the impact is huge. Okay. It could be, it could be a service physically, um, providing services to people, helping others, or it could be, um, something you're creating to make people's life easier or, or a product that you're selling that will make that, that will help people, whatever it is, when you, when you start impacting others, then there is that purpose behind it, that your passion turns into purpose through that service, um, when, when you impact others. So that, that's where compassion comes in. The third thing that he mentions is expertise. And I think this is very important because a lot of people want to do things, but they don't get to do it because of this third part. Expertise is very important. The skills that you need to actually make the action happening. Without the action, your passion, your compassion is, is just a wishful thinking. You're not going to actually put anything, get anything out of it without putting action. So put, to put action, you actually need your expertise. You need to be skillful at what you're doing. So you need to invest in yourself. This is very important, important because a lot of people don't invest in themselves or they don't consider investing as important. Um, they would go buy a lot of things out there, but they don't buy the things for themselves, for their knowledge, for their learning. It's very important to grow. So you need to invest yourself to be skillful at what you want to do. So you can put your, you can turn your passion into creating and uh, turn your passion into actioning it and that way your purpose will come up okay so continue doing this you know be curious be like a baby be very curious be have interest in it turn your um, interest into passion and turn your passion into your purpose one of the most important thing um jay shetty men mentioned this as well and i've heard this before um uh, from um, other um, videos and uh, websites um, Albert Einstein mentioned that everyone is a genius and we are okay we are all a genius and we have the capability and that's that's why I'm very passionate about creating these videos for you because I want to tap I want you to tap into all this um, meaningful information um, in this universe um, so you can you can actually create a path for you that's meaningful for you live your life purpose so Einstein Albert um, Albert Einstein mentioned that um, Everyone is a genius, but he also mentioned, but if, and this is not the exact word, this is based on my understanding, if a fish was trying to climb up a tree, then it would live its life feeling stupid forever. So because fishes are supposed to be in water, right? That's where their skills are. So instead of like, we all have our own, own skills that we're good at. We all have our own purpose. So tap into who you are supposed to be. And that will change your life. Like don't compare yourself to others because their path is totally different. They're good at what they're doing. And that's amazing. It's a blessing. And it's, it's great to be grateful and um, be happy for others' success. And then tune into your own what you are good at and learn from it and grow from it. And you will also succeed in your own way. It doesn't have to be exactly that the way you know your friends are doing or your cousins are doing or, or or your co-workers are doing it could be your own path so create just work on your passion because otherwise we all try to set some goals that are not aligned with our purpose and then we don't live a meaningful life
So our, I feel like our ultimate goal, as I mentioned, our ultimate purpose, as I mentioned earlier, is to evolve. So keep evolving, keep growing. Don't be stuck, don't be stagnant, because that itself will allow you to unfold your purpose. Just allow things to happen instead of being stuck and no, not knowing what you need to do or what your life purpose is. It's not like a message that just comes to you. You don't start off sometimes with the purpose. You start off with your passion and just keep doing what you need to do and then you find your your purpose so whatever direction you go just live a meaningful life hope this video was very helpful for you if you liked anything out of it please click the like button share this video with your family and friends i want everyone to benefit from this and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click the notification button because i'm very very determined to creating weekly videos for you to empower you to live your life purpose to empower you to live the life the way you wanted to live. Okay, until then, namaste.